Hello, sweethearts, and welcome to Fresno's Master Duel, where we have two more replays from the Exceeds Festival for you. As always, here's my ID, here's a guard dragon, and here are two more Zodiac replays from today, as of recording, even, because I'm, I'm doing all these in a batch, so these two happened just this morning. Wow! And, believe it or not, they're both the same deck. Well, not like the exact same deck, but, you know, the same archetype. So, let's just show you a duel with Wei Arcade and see what they've got. So, let's connect them up. Let's just see what they may have. We're on the uh, first turn, so it's not bad. Hmm, decent-ish hand. We will start with the Foolish Burial, see if any ash has come. Well, no, so we got the Ram Ram in the grave. We'll go for Thurblade. We've got Combo even and a Solemn Judgment. So, looking good. Looking pretty good. So from here, you play. We exceed climb, but we don't exceed climb to five because we're playing around Nibiru. And so, a whole bunch of beasts ranked on top of each other until we get Trident. Nice little 1700 Trident. Not bad. The opponent's response is normal summon Goblin Bird. So they're obviously on some sort of Rancor strategy. You want to see this? It's a Utopia deck. Which, don't sleep on Utopia. Because they immediately go into their ace. Number 39, Utopia. A big boy, and uh, they do some shit. I just Dryden immediately here. Hmm, shotgun into Dryden may have been a mistake. This deck is not out of gas. Not by a long shot. So they have reinforcement of the army. They're going to get back a goblin bird. I guess for follow-up plays. And they, since I, since an exceed monsters on the field, they get to summon this. So, oopsie doopsie. And they get to search this card, which is going to let them search a card by shuffling a card back into their deck. So they search this guy again, the arm sage. Summon it. And we're right back into rank four land. Great. Good job shotgunning that pop, Freds. Because now we're dealing with a Utopia. And even better, a Utopia that can get over my Dryden. But I have a trick. Zodiac combo. We can put a Zodiac from my deck under Dryden as material. And we're going to pick Whiptail. Because we're going to lose the uh, Dryden anyway here. But remember, Dryden's effect. Or Whiptail's effect. If this card battles a monster, after damage calculation, banish it. So, we're going to trade. And I have the combo in the grave to get Dryden access back. So, actually a good trade. What follows is a hilarious chain. So I draw the cavern, so I figure we're going to combo and get all those guys back in the deck and get ourselves back on Dryden deck. They all go back and we get Monster Reborn. I normal Cataroost. They change Solemn Judgment. They figure, ha I'll stop you from making a play. And then on the crackback, I'll draw a card and it'll be a one card enabler. Ha 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 ha. But I'm like, fuck that. I'm taking this game. I Solemn Judgment, your Solemn Judgment, negating your Solemn Judgment so that I can still do my plays and you just have your life points, motherfucker. Ha <laughs> ha. And I Monster Reborn, figuring, well, I can get some fun access. Dryden and Zeus on the go. And they just are like, no, no, no. I take the L. <laughs> so that was really fun. <laughs> but yeah, Utopia has fucking legs. As you'll see in this match with this uh, person with uh, some uh, kanjis and katakanas I cannot pronounce, so... It's another Utopia deck, but this one. Whew. 
This match is something. Okay. So, let's get into it. They're going first, which is not the best. For and we got two Ash, a board clearer, and, uh, well, tanky access is really our only way. But they pass. Interesting. Very interesting. I th I'm thinking their logic is the same as when I pass in Crusade, Crusade OTK. They're like, well, I want to go second and disrupt your plays. So if you can OTK me, you can OTK me. If you can't, you're fucked. So we're going to go... Tanky Thoroughblade. We got the field spell for some extra damage and protection and stuff. And it's the standard play. Dryden Pass. You know the drill. It's a good card. It's a one for a reason. It's a, it's a must-have. It's good. Use it. There you are. So we're going to go in for a quarter of their life points. Not bad. Not bad. We'll set the MST just in case. We've got Dryden, we've got Ash, we've got MST. It's looking pretty good. <clears throat> so here's where I kind of fall asleep at the wheel. There are at least like two or three things I could Ash here, but I just like, I forgot. I just like sort of mashed through it, you know? So I don't know if it would have made me win faster or what, but I was kind of asleep at the wheel here. They're going into Utopia Double, which lets them add, of all things, double or nothing, which is a terrible, terrible like, OTK sort of thing that they can do. But from there, they go into Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray, which basically is going to force out my Dryden Pop. Because you can turn... Yeah, they do some bullshit. Let's return... Yeah, equip a ZW, and it's bullshit. So I basically have to pop here. So it forces me out, sort of. So, they baited me, and they're in a pretty good fucking position. And I activate this Exceeds Chain Tactics, which, whenever they exceed some of Utopia, they draw a card. I immediately shotgun MST that I'm like, fuck it, you're not maxing on your own turn. No. Bad. But, you know, it's still not an advantageous position for them. They do whatever the fuck this does in the grave. Uh, what does it do? Uh, banish this card from your grave to draw a card. So, at this point, I shotgun the Ash. I'm like, fuck it. If I slept on the last three interactions, I'm not letting you do it this time. And so, I gate that. You're going to star drawing, because they haven't normal summoned yet. Star drawing is a really cute exceed card. So that'll let them draw a card, and they get into another rank four. They're going to Utopia Double again. And they draw a card, and then they do a rank up. And they go right back into fucking Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. And then they get a thing here. So, they're 3,500, and they can lower my attack. So that's not great. So I take a big hit. Dryden's out. Not good. I do have the Rageki, but what can I draw off the top? Caterroost. It's not bad. So, pop that. We go into Caterroost. What's the play here? Zeus, I guess? I mean, we'll see what I did. So, we're gonna... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Actually, it's not Zeus. This is funny. I didn't save this replay, but I had a Zodiac Mirror Match where they got to go first, and I lost because of that. But they did this cool tech that I then incorporated into this Utopia match. So we go into Chekanine off of the normal summon the Cataroost. Then we activate the effect of Chekanine. Target the Zodiac in our grave, special summon it, but its effects are negated and it can't be used as exceed material for a summon. So we get the Dryden back, but it has no material, so it has no live pots. Then we climb the Chakanine into Tiger Mortar. And with Tiger Mortar, I can detach to put something from my grave onto another Zodiac Exceed. So now the Dryden will be live. And from here, I can go into the Hammer Kong and 
Borbo, and that will let me attack direct and go live into the Zeus. So I have Zeus and Dryden access off of one card. Really smart, really clever way to play the deck. So we're going to do just that. We hit for a little bit, and then we go into the Zeus. And at the end of the turn, the, the uh, Zodiac Dryden's effect will come back on. And so now it's a 2k beat stick with a pop. And I've got the pop of a Zeus. So they don't play anything. But I don't have game on board. And unfortunately, I didn't draw anything. So I just as well activate this foolish burial. And they ask shit. They're like, no, fuck you. You're not doing anything that could fucking game me. So reluctantly, we have to hit them for a shitload, but not take the game. So, yeah, 200 life points, but, you know, it's, it's a commanding position, but they could come back. And they draw, and now, the maximum disrespect. They play nothing. I draw, Maxi. Normal summon Maxi! Attack for game. <laughs> Absolute fucking flexy disrespect. Oh my god. <laughs> but those were the interesting replays from the Exceeds Festival. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you enjoyed the Zodiac deck. It's a pretty good deck. And hell, if you want to play in ranked, you can even incorporate the Tri Brigade strategy which is very top tier at the moment. So, you know, don't sleep on this deck, is all I'm going to say. And, uh, well, that'll do it for this round of Fresno's Master Duel replays. I have some interesting decks in mind for you for next time to show off, but you'll have to see them later. I may even have a third if I can uh, pull the cards. I've got 916 gems just to... Just 85 more, and I can do a 10 pull, and hopefully pull some ultras that I need. Or some ultras that I can dust for what I need. So, yeah. I'm gonna end this here. So, uh, we'll see you for the next bout of Master Duel replays. Until then, y'all, have a good one.